Hi and welcome, my name is Daniel Bogdanoff and today is Wednesday, March 13th and that means it's time to start thinking about where you're going to take solace if you don't win any test gear this March. I recommend a local makerspace, that forgotten dusty corner in the old electronics supply closet, or your local Keysight rep at keysight.com slash find slash contact us. See what I did there? But maybe you won't have to resort to that because today we have 11 winners, five of whom will win a U1282A and one of whom will win a 200 megahertz oscilloscope. On Friday, we're also giving away a 6 gigahertz 6000X stereo scope and an ESOF ADS license. You can sign up daily at wave.keysight.com. All of your entries are included in all the drawings. But first, we have our quick test gear tip of the day with Matt, who's going to walk us through three quick tips for making sure your RF measurements are up to par. Hi, I'm Matt, and today we're going to look at three ways to make sure your RF connectors are performing at their best. Tip number one is to make sure your connectors stay clean. The easiest way to do this is whenever you're not using your connector, place the plastic end cap over it. But if it does get dirty, you'll need some rubbing alcohol and a swab. Dip your swab in the alcohol and then use it to gently clean out the area around the conductor. The reason you want to do this is because if there's any dirt or oil in there that can interfere with your connection and cause inaccurate measurements. When you're finished swabbing, Use some compressed air to spray out any remaining moisture or debris. Tip number two is to always use a torque wrench when making connections. The torque wrench fits around the nut of your connector, and when you've reached the specified tightness on the torque wrench, it'll bend a little bit to let you know that you've made a proper connection. This is how you ensure that you're getting the most accurate measurement possible without over tightening and potentially damaging your conductors. Finally, tip number three is whenever you're connecting to a dut to a cable, turn the nut on the connector and not the dut. This is because if you twist the dut, you're gonna twist the conductors against each other and that can damage them. So remember, turn the nut, not the dut. So if you follow these three simple tips, your connectors will keep operating in peak condition. Thanks for watching. Matt also just recently had a webcast on Vector Network Analyzer Fundamentals. There's a link to sign up for that in the description. You can scroll down to the page, check the box for that webcast, hit register and you'll be signed up. You can view it at your leisure. And now it's time to draw today's winners. The first winner will give away the 200 megahertz scope first. That goes to Matt person or Matt's person. Congratulations, Matt, we'll be in touch with you. The next five winners are gonna be for the handheld DMM. That's gonna be David Flood, Malik Ayari, Brian Nielsen, David Isler, and Jonathan Pocasangre. Congratulations to those winners. The smaller handhelds are gonna, there's gonna be two of those. Those go to Lindsey Frisk and Alan Cost. Congratulations to both of you. The probe packs, 200 megahertz switchable, 10 to one, one to one probes, go to Jens Martin and Roger Grunke. And the Benchview license goes to Patrick Walkemeyer. Congratulations to all our winners. We'll be in touch with you in the next 72 hours. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Keysight Labs YouTube channel. Check out the podcast that we are streaming live later today over on the Keysight Podcast channel. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, hold on. Not yet. Now that's a clean connector. Oh, that was weird. No, Don't no, use no. that one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>